Hello everyone, this is Ryan here, and today I'm going to be doing a Mindflex staff interview, and I'm with the Admin Flame again. Uh, if you guys don't know, he was my first interview on the uh, on the channel, and if you look at this picture here, you can see that it was actually uploaded on the same exact day two years ago, which is uh, quite ironic. So, Flame, how have you been, man? Um, I've been I've been really good. Stuff has been um, very interesting, as you can imagine. Yeah. It's been a very um, hectic couple of days. For sure, I bet it was. So, um, before we get into your new admin duties, if you guys want to just know a little background of Flame, we'll, we'll say uh, we'll start with the question: Where where are you from? Um, so I'm from London, and I've lived here all my life. Nice. And how old are you? I'm 17. And do you have any plans after high school? Um, currently, it's just to go to university and um, study science because that's what I'm studying right now, and that's um, where my future wants to go. Really. Do you yeah. know? Do you know what what career you'd want to do? Um, honestly, just something science related because uh, that's my biggest passion, and it's it's the only thing I really see myself doing in the future. Nice, nice. And how? So how long uh, have you been on the staff team, like including the trainee rank all the way up through? Um, so I'm nearing three years now. Um, I got trainee in uh, on the 28th of July, 2017, and then mod on the. Eight, not the 18th, the 15th of October um, 2017, and then Senior Mod on the 24th of July 2018. So and I've been training for almost three years and Senior Mod for um, almost two years. Oh wow. And um, so what's your official job now that you're admin on the server? Uh, so my official title is um, Clans Management Administrator, which means I am in charge of the Clans Management Senior Team. Um, and uh, Clans is a game mode itself, so the development and um, interactions with the community and all that. So for those who don't know, do you want to just give a quick little explanation on what Clans is on the Mindflex server? Um, so for anybody who's familiar with factions on uh, maybe smaller servers or uh, just other servers in general, Clans is kind of like that, except with the, um, the kind of twist of Champion's Kits. Um, and so it has lots of additions with plugins and, and all that um, and different types of servers for people who want more competitive gameplay um, with killing people uh, in order to raid them. Uh, lots of stuff to do on clans and it can be very complicated but um, if you persevere through it you can usually understand how it works after a while. And how, and since you've been accepted, how has your, uh, how has your day-to-day kind of been so far? And how do you think it, it, it'll look when you actually have, have a little while to settle in? Um, so it's only been a couple of days since I got admin. And they've been very, very busy couple of days. Um, I haven't had too much free time, but um, I've, I've enjoyed it so far. Um, in terms of the future, I think... The, the next few weeks are going to be uh, quite difficult with um, managing time, especially since I'm, I'm going back to school in a couple of weeks. Um, so it's going to be interesting to deal with. But it's, um, it's going to be a fun experience, and over time I'll be able to manage my time better um, and, and generally uh, be able to have more free time to do stuff, but also manage clans the way I want to. Yeah, so kind of our first uh, specific clans related question. Um, so if you guys don't know, I did uh, post a poll, or, or not a poll, a uh, post on the forums, on the Mindplex, on the Mindplex forums, and I asked people if they had any questions that they'd want me to ask Flame for them. So I'll leave a link to that in the description if you guys want to go check out who asked the questions and stuff like that. Um, but one of, one of the first questions that we got was, what changes will you make in the short and long term for clans, or do you hope to, to, hope to make? Um, so currently I have lots of short-term plans in terms of um, ways to improve currently existing systems such as the rule system, um, let me just kill this pass. <laughs> they got me. Oh okay. nice. Um, the rule system, um, the appeal system, uh, the way we handle certain blacklists and, um, and offenders. Um, and a lot of internal stuff as well in terms of staff team onboarding um, and things surrounding that. Uh, there are lots of changes to be made because um, I feel like lots of things can be simplified or made easier for the staff team as well as community members and um, staff members as a whole. So it's, yeah, it's going to be 
it's going to be difficult, but um, my aim is to, to work alongside the clans team in order to, uh, to kind of realize those ideas. Um, there's a lot more than that as well to, to get done, um, such as you know, reopening CMA applications and um, the, the long-awaited map reset. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, it's there. I have a lot of plans, and hopefully, I can um, I can realize them. Yeah. Another question. I think the same person <laughs> asked us. They want to know. Uh, they want to know when the next season would come out, and if there'll be a map reset in the near future. Um, so currently, it's going to depend on the discussions within the team, and also with the uh, leadership team and the devs um, to see kind of how much we can get. Um, it's looking like we're not going to be able to have enough dev time for a full new season. Um, and the most likely outcome is going to be a map reset with maybe some minor updates alongside it. Um, those updates, the focus of them, will have to be discussed within the team. Um, so I can't really decide, I can't really tell what, what those updates will be. Um, but it's looking like the reset would most likely be sometime over the next few weeks, which I did hint to in that um, the introduction on the, the official admin announcement. Um, but nothing set in stone, and it's, it's going to be very dependent on what happens and how the discussions go. Yeah, awesome. Well, now we're going to kind of steer away from the clans questions. We'll, we'll circle back around to them to, to them later. But um, one question that somebody asked, they want to know what your two, besides clans, what are your two favorite games on the Mindplex server? Someone's here. Yeah, he's, he's hacking. Let me just ban him. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, you go <Eagle> Gwen. <laughs> um, yeah, so what are your, besides clans, what are your two favorite games on the Mindplex server? Um, so... My main game has always been Champions Domination. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of been the game I, I defaulted to when I first joined the server, and I um, I kind of got hooked on it immediately. And I guess that's what led me to Clans eventually. Mm -hmm. um, so Champions Domination has been the main thing for a long time. In terms of a second favorite game, um, I kind of play lots of different things, but I'd say at the moment it's probably painful. painful? Um, yeah, but it changes a lot. Like it used to be SM, used to be Nano. Uh, yeah, but Dom is always going to be the number one spot for sure. Yeah. So, uh, how have you been enjoying the new admin position so far? I know, as as you said before, I know it's only been a couple days, but um, have you been? How's you been, have you been enjoying it? Has it been extremely stressful? What what has that kind of been like for you? Um, it hasn't felt stressful. Um, I've quite enjoyed being busy, even though I've, I haven't had much free time. Um, I'm enjoying being busy and, and being able to help people out a lot. Um, in terms of like the perms, it's been, it's been pretty fun discovering what I can do, like disguising and spawning mobs and all that, because um, I, I have a lot of power and it's, it's pretty funny. Um, but yeah, I, I've been, um, I've received lots and lots of messages from people uh, on Discord, on the forums, on my, um, on my forum wall, and, and in game as well, um, congratulating me, and it's been, it's been quite a nice experience just, um, having so many people supporting me. Yeah. yeah, I've enjoyed it a lot so far. That's good. I'm glad. Um, so, out of out of all the staff positions that you've had, what what do you think your favorite one was? Um, so I think the coolest one is always going to be trainee because Someone's you get it once, and then oh, um, <laughs> and the the coolest one is always going to be trainee because. Uh, it's just the first one you get, and it's very epic. Um, but I think my favorite one is going to have to be admin. It's it's a high position, and I've, I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, and I can't wait to, to see how it turns out, really. And what does it, what does it mean to you to be an admin on, on my bugs? Um, It means a lot of things. It means I'm, I have a lot more responsibility than I did before, and I'm, I'm obviously held to a higher standard. Um, I hope it doesn't change the way I, I interact with people because one of the things I've always wanted to, to kind of establish is that I'm someone people can, you know, community members and staff members can go to for help. Um, so I feel like for me, it, it being an admin allows me to help people a lot more than I could have before and to um, change things in a way that benefits the community and the staff team. Yeah, awesome. Um, so when you first joined the staff team, could you see yourself getting admin someday, or was that just something um, that, that you thought was just way out there? 
definitely didn't see myself getting admin. Um, I was a, I was a 14 year old um, in secondary school, and I was I was kind of applying because I thought it would be a good chance to help people out and, and spend my free time. Um, I never saw myself reaching as high a rank as admin, and I think in terms of how I handle um, life in general, I never really have big plans for the future. I kind of just go along with, with whatever's happening. Um, and so yeah, I, I never really um, expected any of this to happen, but I'm really grateful with it. Yeah, that's awesome. So what are you most excited about in terms of, uh, in, in terms of Mindflex for the future? Um, obviously my, opinions, my opinion is going to be very biased and yeah. uh, I, I'll say I'm excited about, about future clans changes um, and content updates. So I'm going to have a lot of influence over, over how that happens, but um, I definitely want to be involving um, the community, clans GI and the staff team with how those decisions are made and, and what they think is going to be the best thing to do. But um, I'm hopeful that we can make some, some good content changes to clans and bring uh, a lot more players to it. Yeah. Um, so I know you kind of touched on this earlier, but how has being an admin changed your experience on the network in general? Um, I I don't even know. It's um, <laughs> you you can probably see in chat. Everyone is yeah. sending me messages. I thought I was I was popular before as a senior mod, but this <laughs> is a whole new level. Um, it's it's been crazy. Um, because I'm, I'm exposed to the entire network now. I've, I can see how the server works in terms of my, my NDA and um, server-side stuff, as well as being able to interact with players that much more, um, and, and also power of the like, uh, influence over the staff team. Um, the, my whole outlook on Mindplex is a lot broader now, um, but I, I think I'm always going to view it as a, as a positive experience in life. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I know this is this is kind of a touchy subject in the Mindflex community in general. I feel like the people people didn't didn't feel like the last administration for clans was the best one. So one of the questions was, do you think the criticism of clans uh, has in its previous management encouraged you to show how you can lead clans in the future? Um, well, so a lot of the changes I want to make will be focused on previous systems that I think didn't work too well, um, such as, uh, I don't think you know much about it, but like the, the index system and how um, appeals for that worked, it was quite a chaotic system um, and it often didn't really uh, didn't treat players too fairly um, and didn't make much sense. And, and stuff like that is kind of left over in clans uh, and I want to get rid of that as a, as a big focus because a big focus on um, big focus on uh, what I want to achieve as admin is simplifying things and making things a lot easier and better for for everybody. Uh, so I think that, yeah, I think I think the criticism, um, as long as it's it's in good nature, you know, not not insulting anybody, yeah. um, it, it helps encourage us to to improve stuff. Would you would you ever be open to the idea of a clan's build theme was another one of the community questions? Um, <clears throat> I think it, in terms of um, how clans is, the clans map is built, it's never really going to need uh, as many, like that many builders for, for any changes unless we're, we're looking to change a massive thing or add some kind of massive structure. Um, I think currently the best way to, to handle it is just to, um, to see if any builders are willing to, to make changes. Because um, I know that they're there currently are a couple, at least a couple of builders who, who want to contribute to clans if, if we ever need to make a map change. So we can just call on those people and um, discuss it with them. Awesome. Uh, so one more question I have for you is, you've, you've also kind of touched on this with the, with the index system, I think you called it. Um, yeah. But, but what do you think needs the most improvement from its current state regarding clans, if any? Um, that's a tough question because I think a lot of things need improvement. Um, uh, I think documentation really, um, and it, it's not really one that affects the community too much, but in terms of, of staff side things, it's very noticeable. Um, and it's the fact that um, in terms of all systems and, and the rule system and how um, staff members are taught to deal with clans and all of that, um, at the moment, that needs a lot of improvement, and it's something I'm definitely looking to uh, to improve upon. 
and um, I'm going to be discussing that with the clans team as well, and um, hopefully uh, documentation such as the rules, the, the appeal system, the index system, um, clans team onboarding, staff guidelines, all of that is going to be improved hopefully over the, over the next couple months. Um, so that in general, the way we handle things, as well as you know updates as well, um, is all going to be a lot smoother and easier to do. Nice. Well, thank you very much for taking some time out of your very busy uh, schedule. To, <laughs> thank to you do, for having me. Yeah, to do the interview. I think I, I enjoyed it. I know a lot of people are going to be very interested to hear what you have to say. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, thank you. Thank you for doing that. And thank you to everyone who watched this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And make sure to go give, uh, go, go, go give, give Flame a congratulations on his profile as well. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys in the next video and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.